another edition of Aspen Tired. Are you sure with the Aspen Tired? Big question. The original internet is you. A dancer with some decent context, some blatant advertising, some incredible theology of the world. And, um, I like to call this sugar. The replacement word for shit. Wait, let's add some sugar. I'm just kidding. Of course I'm going to add the sugar. This is... If you go back, I think episode aired, I get tired of 15. Go back to it. In that question, I'm sorry, sure, Shanna, right? But in that question, I said, I'm, I'm not kidding. In question, I think it's six, I'll send you a link at that side, okay? Go to the link. In that question, I said, what is the most stupidest question anyone would ever ask me? Now, I'm not calling you stupid or, or nothing now, but back then, I was. So, I never knew you back then. And that's what I thought would be the most stupidest question that I could possibly ever be asked. And the most stupidest question I could possibly ever be asked was, I'm allergic to sugar, so I go nuts about it, you know. Why would I, why would I answer such a stupid question? Come on, start asking me stuff about the National Tire Organization. So, I, th I do find that pretty funny, actually. And if you watch, I think it was Evolution, or the ones just before it, I talk about how if you watch all of my Ask a Tire videos, you won't ask repetitive questions that I've already answered. But just to answer your question, no. Why would I be allergic to sugar? Look at me. I mean, you've, you've seen my videos, no? Didn't think so. Well, in most of them, you would probably know that I'm eating sweets, things with sugar in them, you know? Now, I wouldn't usually pick up one of these and eat it, you know? Didn't mean to give me a fright there if you thought, if I thought, if you thought I was dying. Does that work? Yeah. You buying it? Didn't think so. But no. I, as far as I'm concerned, I'm not allergic to anything except the camera. Right, I'm going to move the camera over here because I can't really do any moves in the beginning. Um. Okay. Uh, sugar. You should probably know this. The reason the tyrant doesn't like sugar is because sugar and spice and everything nice, okay? Sugar, spice, and everything nice. We don't like things that are nice. Things that are nice is like things that are pink. They do not or should not exist. I could ask you why you have a Russian hat on in your picture. But I believe that the reason you have a Russian hat on in your picture is because you wanted to... Yeah, that would work. Because you wanted to have a Russian hat on in your picture. You know? Even though you do slightly look like, I'd say probably, Kim Possible and Abu Levine. Probably an insult to you, but I think you look pretty, pretty damn hot for, for someone on YouTube. So take that as a, as a compliment. Uh, we don't like sugar because sugar was created by the Hebrew. And it was invented when we created salt, okay? and they created sugar. But salt is way more used. I'm telling you, salt is everywhere. We have salt in our bodies now. We don't have sugar in our bodies. We have salt in our bodies. That salt, that bitter salt, that salt that makes you turn evil. That's why it is. People become bitter, and then they become heartless, and then they become sour, and then they become sore. All of that is because of salt. You know, you get assaulted, you know, you become under assault. Just about anything with the word salt in it has got something to do with what the tyrant's done. Okay? But sugar, we made that the replacement word for shit. And though shit is not really a swear word at all, but, oh, sugar is so funny. So we've actually changed the word sugar in such a way. So sugar isn't that, that widely known. I think it's more cocoa and and addictive things like that. Now, I was asked a, a couple of questions, not just this one, so I have to answer as many as I can. Another one, I was sent an email off of someone, actually just now, 
telling me they 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 promote videos like mine, share them, you know, for a positive community. So I'm wondering if I should reply to that, or if there's some kind of hooks. I don't know. Um, what was the other question? Some Soya the Mendez. I can't remember the other question. You know, I had it there in the, in the back of my mind, and and now it's gone. Yeah, back to sugar. Yes, we created sugar, but we didn't inevitably want sugar as a result. Uh, sorry, we didn't invent sugar, so I'm going the wrong way here. We invented salt, but we didn't inevitably want salt as a result. We were trying to mine crystals, you see, and we tried to mine crystals. There's an epic core in every crystal. This epic core is huge, and it was horrible. It was like looking at it, you could taste it. That's how bad it was. And the 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 they fell into the sea. Now you're talking like this huge epic core. Fell into the sea. And ever since then, the entire sea has been covered in salt. Now I've heard rumors about why the sea is covered in salt. And trust me, there's not enough whales out there to cause that amount of salt. But the epic center of the sea, you just imagine the earth could bath, right? Then you just imagine the earth being male. Then you just imagine why the earth is covered in salt. And why, if evolution is true, we also have salt in our bodies. Because, I mean, I, I'm not really one for saying anything religious or anything of uh, that kind of, of godly structure. But the fact that we have salt in our bodies proves that there has to be evolution. And we did in fact come from the very earth we're standing on which is an incredible thing because salt's been in the sea since the earth began and if we have salt in the bodies then we must intake of the things of the earth so I, I'm not sure how it's possible but yes we created salt in that matter and now salt's in all our bodies and it's, and it's there and it's, it's powerful you know it's, it's really horrible but it's amazing and salt and vinegar crisps and cheese and onion and stuff and yeah it just has its movements I guess and it's just salt for you but isn't it yes but let, don't get me started on sugar sugar is nice right and that's why I don't like it but sugar it's also addictive like someone asked me what do you think it was about coke that made it addictive now coke came from a cane a cane called coke cane okay that cocaine was put inside bottles of Coca-Cola. Those bottles had cocaine in them. They used to make people high, go nuts. When they discovered there was cocaine in them because someone on a bike and tried to go in a straight line ended up falling off it, they had to take the cocaine out of it. So Coke is still a drug, okay? The Coke that you drink. It's not addictive because of the caffeine. Caffeine is not as addictive as you believe it is. It is addictive because the cocaine is still in it, but they're taking out the coke extract. But the addictive factor is still there. So it's like taking a drug, but a drug that can't do anything to you. And, you know, a placebo drug, but it still can addict you. Because addiction to placebos is the highest amount of addiction you can get nowadays. You can become addicted to anything else, but addiction to the placebos is the highest. So people can come to rely on it. So people rely on coke, it gives them energy, and it is made up of like 90% sugar, but it also had coke cane in it. So that's three questions I think I've answered. Sh 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 Shoshana, and uh, that guy who sent me that message, and the guy who asked me about the deal with coke and why it's so addictive is. Thank you for your question.